Let's get started here. I'm going to go over. First, everybody go. I'm giving you the link again. Go to tradethirsty.com forward slash trade off and go over there real quick and sign up. And I'll do it here. We're going to do a couple uh, practice events too. Um, what I'm going to do, my plan is, number one, I want to get you signed up so you can potentially win you some money. Because today, if you if you sign up, I'm going to show you right now, they're, they're, they're giving away a $5,000 prize pool. Here's kind of how that thing works. Now, heads up, full disclosure, I'm an investor in this company. All right. So if we look, there's 61 people registered. So I'm going to, I'm going to go right here, and you can see that we are giving $5,000 away. It's a joint venture between Trade Thirsty and Trade Off. Okay, so $5,000. First place is guaranteed to get paid $964. So out of the 61 people that are registered right now, you got a one in 61, uh, one in 61 people chance of winning $964. Second place is going to pay 482. Third is going to pay out 322. Fourth is going to pay out uh, 241. And then uh, places fifth through 10 uh, will pay 137, 11 through 25, 58, 26 through 50, $27. And then 51st through the 100th place is going to pay out $12.48. This is not hard. If you've traded, this will be very easy for you to pull off. All right. Uh, I, if I already have a trade-off account, do I need to register again? No, you just need to enter this one right here, which if you go to all or you can go featured, I guess, either one, you just need to make sure that you enter this one. I'm already entered, so it doesn't make any sense for me to enter it. Well, no, I haven't entered it, but I will enter in here in a minute. So does everybody understand? Now, let me walk you through. Um, let's go over here. Let's look at the markets real quick, and then I'll come back over to the um, trade-off all right all right so you should be able to see my trade station if you see my trade station just type in TS really quickly and then what I'm gonna do um, I'm just gonna go through and do my homework because I didn't do it Friday I usually take off half a day on Friday all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk through and I'm trying I'm gonna try to figure out what's happening in all the different very various markets that I trade. And then if you guys have symbols that you want me to look at, uh, all I ask is just put them in cap locks and just one per person per line, please, just because there's a lot of people in here. All right. So let's get started. Uh, first thing I always start off with is index futures. So um, on the index futures, we're going to start with the S&P. So S&P finally looks like it made a daggone decision, right? So if you look at this right here, we had a sell-off, and it was it was a nice little retracement spooked a few people and then we had this retracement and this retracement I find by just using a 50 and a 61 percent Fibonacci uh, uh, retracement so I'm gonna go from the beginning of the selling to the end of the selling and that zone right there I call the ambush zone because it's kind of make it or break it line for a lot of stuff and what we needed it to do is we needed to close outside of that ambush area if it closes above it well then things are healthy on the long side if it closes below it well, then things are healthy to the downside. So Friday, we had, an, uh, had a nice little rally, and uh, it looks like next week we're probably going to go higher, okay? And then I'll double-check. I'll go over here to the hourly chart, and I'll go, okay, where's the hourly signal on the ES? Okay, so it's above the cloud, and that fired off Friday in the wee early morning, okay? So actually, it would be Thursday morning, not Friday. When, when it looks like that, then that means we're going to have anywhere from three to five days, three to five days of continuation up move. So that's good. So S&P, uh, I'm going to lock next week as early as Sunday evening, right, because the futures will open up Sunday evening, S&P 500 to the high side, okay? And then what I'll do is I'll just go, okay, and look, it's almost outside of the cloud. So I'll, I'll go over here, and then I'll just come down here. And I'll build myself a new watch list, and I'll go, okay, at ES, I want to play long, and then I go back to the scan. And then I go back over here, and then I go, boom, what's the Dow doing? Okay, Dow is just really close to about to break out of that ambush area, and we have an hourly buy signal. That also is a potential buy signal for me. So I'm going to go at YM, okay, go back over to the scan page. And then I'm going to go, okay, where is the uh, the NASDAQ at? Oh, NASDAQ's been good for a while. Um, 
So nothing has really changed here for me on my analysis of the NASDAQ. You can see sell-off, end of the sell-off, has closed above the 61% retracement, which means it's going to take out that high and then continue on, try to go to 7,500. So NASDAQ is easy. And it's got an hourly buy signal. That means for the next three to five days, it's probably going to go higher. So I'm going to go long tab, and I'm going to go at NQ. And then we'll go back to my scan page. And then I'm going to take a look at the Russell. The Russell is right now, it's a little bit weaker than the other indexes. And there's always one that leads and one that lags. So in this situation this week, you've got the NASDAQ leading and the Russell lagging. So I'm not going to go long this one because it's weaker than the other. Even though it's got a 60-minute buy signal, it's got a little bit of overhead resistance right here, right, that it's going to have to deal with. But this is going to be my go-to in case the market doesn't go higher. Since this one is weaker than the other indexes, that's going to be my go-to short on the index futures. So um, if it says that you can't join, it just means the uh, state or federal regulations won't let you do it is all it means face. Yeah, and you just can't, you can't, you can't change any of that. Yeah, uh, this is not your location. Really. Yeah, so there's a few states that uh, trade-off is um, you can't do it. But for most states, I think there's only five or six states that we, we you can't play in. And I don't remember what they are. You'd have to ask Mark. But, yeah, it's just it just has to do with a, a state a state law or legislation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, yeah, it's in the United States. Um, but there's a few states that won't let you do it regardless. Yeah. All right, so that's my, that's my plan for the index futures. Long NASDAQ and potentially short the Russell if the thing rolls over. Now, I want to look at some of the international stuff. Look at the DAX. The DAX is below the cloud here and an hourly buy signal. That's a sell for me. That's probably going to drift lower. Now, I need to put on, let's take, let's take a look at this, the Euro Stocks 50. Euro Stocks 50. Let me put, I always like to have the ADX on here. This will tell me basically if this market is trending or not. So let me status that on real quick. There we go. Okay, so on the on the DAX, I am trending. I'm below the cloud. So this is an hourly buy signal. That's a conflict for me, so I'm going to leave that one alone. I have a sell signal here, and I have a buy signal here, and it's trending. So for me, I need to wait for the hourly to jump back on the gravy chain to the downside. Mm -hmm. uh, will the DAX go to the purple line before going lower? Maybe. It might, Greg. Um, but if this hourly signal will rotate back below on a 10-minute, I'm sorry, 60-minute, it won't get the chance to go there. So it's a flip of the coin. You just don't know. All right, Euro Stocks 50, which is like our Dow product. All right, it is below the cloud, and it's an hourly buy signal. That's a conflict for me. So when I see stuff like that, I just go, okay, there's no sense in me trading that when I've got better stuff to trade, like uh, long the NASDAQ, okay, or long the Dow or the S&P, or short the Russell. Now, on the Bund, we have an interesting development here, and I'll use this kind of as a precursor of what our, our bond market will do. So we closed above the turning line, and we have now closed above the standard line. And we have hourly buy signals. You can see we had an hourly buy signal right back here. There's one, two, re retrace on day three, and then you have one, two, three, four days up. So nice little rally here in the Bund. It's counter trend because this is a downtrend, but when it closes above the turning line, lots of times it'll close above the standard line. So it may try to attack the bottom of that cloud. That means that, and you guys, if you've been doing, if you've been watching the videos that I put out on a daily basis, you kind of know I'm pretty bearish on the bond market because I'm short the bonds. So I'm still swing short the bonds in my swing accounts, but in my intraday day trading accounts, Friday I was long, and here's why. If you look, well, first I'm going to start with the lower, uh, lower maturity rates. So let's go to the two-year note. So the two-year note, you can obviously see this is just an easy trade. It just makes you look smart when you can find uh, markets that are trending well and then just grab a hold of them. And it doesn't have anything to do with intelligence other than you're, you're dumb enough to believe in this trend's going to continue and you look like a genius when you do that stuff. So this is, this is a massive downtrend. It's going to continue. Interest rates are going to rise. These things are going to go lower, okay? So that's, that's a decent trade. I like that. I like the twos, the fives, the tens, and the 30 lower over the longer term, but if you look at the five, the five is closing ever so slightly above, quit trade station, 
the turning line, which means it wants to try to go to 114.17. Now, I don't trade a lot of twos and fives just because I just don't trade a lot of them. But I do trade a, a metric ton of 10-year notes and 30-year notes. Now, check this out. You see where the 10-year closed above the turning line? That means it's going to try to go to the standard line at 120.24. Now, look here. You have an hourly buy signal. That means that the bond market in the 10-year note is going to rally for the next three to five days. So intraday counter trend against the, against the overall pre prevailing trend, I'm going to go intraday long and flat at the end of the day for day trades. For swing trades on the bounces, I'm going to be reshorting and holding for the longer term. Same thing it holds true for the U.S., which is the 30-year bond. And uh, we call it, we call the 30-year the bond and everything else is called a note. You can see we closed above the turning line. Now look at here. Look at there. Which means we're probably going to go to the standard line. So as soon as we got, as soon as we got an hourly signal right here above the cloud, I start getting long intraday and then boom. Uh, Raj, what is the turning line and the standard line? Just look up Ichimoku. I've got, a, I, you could probably just look up, I mean, it's a, it's a nine period midpoint average and this is a, I think a 26. Yeah. I'm new to trade station. Do they have a cloud scan that is, uh, one of your, no, the, so on trade station, it makes it super easy. They have Ichimoku for free. Most charting companies out there have Ichimoku for free, but trade station does have a cool scan. I'll show you how that works in just a minute. All right, so let's check this out. Let's take a look at gold. Where's gold at right now? Gold is sideways and stuck in the cloud on the hourly, and I'm not really sure what to do with gold, so I'm smart enough, I guess, is the word for it, to not do anything with gold because gold's confusing to me right now, so I'm leaving gold alone. Let's take a look at silver. Silver is a sell signal, so it is slightly below the cloud on the daily, and the hourly is also in a sell signal. So that is a slot sell with a target of 1620. Now if we go into copper, copper, the ADX is below 20. That means it's non-trendy. This is a leave me alone type trade. And now I'm going to go back down here. Here's one of the better setups chart-wise. Check this out. Here's crude oil. So crude oil, the ADX is above 20, which means it's trending, okay? And we've just sold off. We bounced out of the cloud, which is a buy signal. We closed above the turning line, which is a signal, and we closed above the uh, standard line, which is a signal. So we're going here, uh, which is going to be $66, and then we're going to go to $68, then we're going to go to $72, and then I'll have to recalculate where we're going after that. So you can see that we've had an hourly buy signal for a few days now. All right, there's one day, here's two days. So we'll get more of that in the future. So I like crude oil to the long side. So on the long side, I like crude. Okay. And then obviously in the short side, I don't have to remind myself, but I like the at TY, which is the 10 year and the at US, which is the 30 year to the downside. And then I just keep going through this systematically and finding stuff that looks really good to the high side or really good to the downside. That's just simple, right? And just keep it nice and simple. Now I, I can't really do anything with feeder cattle, right? Feeder cattle, this would be a meat product. It's stuck in the cloud, and the ADX is below 20. Therefore, I got to leave it alone. Same thing with live hogs or lean hogs. Uh, lean hogs, non-trending, ADX is too low, and we're below the cloud. That's I can't do anything about that. Live kettle, non-trending, in the cloud, I got to leave it alone. Let's take a look at soybeans. There you go. That's a nice-looking long. So you got above the cloud, and I think 2018 is going to be the year where you're going to you're not going to like yourself very well if you don't get long some agriculture futures, whether it's soy, corn, wheat, oats. Now, the two I like the best are corn and soy. I trade those the most. Um, and if you don't trade futures, you can do stuff like C-O-R-N. That's a, uh, a, a corn stock fund, C-O-R-N. You could do that, and that'll, that'll do you, C-O-R-N. There you go. That's going to pretty much mirror the price of corn. If you want to be a little bit more broad-based, you could go uh, DBA, which is going to be an ETF based around agricultural futures products. So this is also a good product that you can trade if you don't trade futures. 
Uh, above a 60-minute chart usually means it's going to run for a minimum of three days. It can grow legs, though, Ed, and be five, six, seven, 21 days. But the minimum it usually does is at least three days. Yep. All right. So there is uh, soybeans. Let me see here. This. Let's go at S. Let me go at S. I messed up a chart. There we go. There's soybeans. That looks good. Here is corn. Corn is also a good daily buy signal. The the hourly is in the cloud, but the longer term uh, trend will be will be higher in 2018 for that. And then here is wheat. Wheat I don't like as much as corn or soy. And then oats I don't really trade a lot of oats, uh, but it's 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 also in the cloud and non trending. But you can pay attention to it, but it's just not there yet. And then you got rough rice uh, just came into trending mode, but it's stuck in the cloud, so you can't do anything about that. Let's check out our softs here. Let's talk. Let's talk about cotton. There you go. Cotton is trending hourly buy signals off of the cloud, and it's about above the uh, it's about above the daily cloud there too. So on this creature here, it is about to look like a really good buy signal. So cotton with a target of where we're going to go here on cotton, probably in the area of eighty four twenty eighty four twenty. Okay. And then you got OJ, OJ, non-trending in the cloud, stuck, <clears throat> leave that alone. Here's coffee, non-trending, according to the ADX, but looks like it's going to go lower. And then the cool thing about trade stations, is watch how cool this is. I can actually tell it to scan for stuff that's newly above or below, newly above or below the cloud, which is really powerful, saves me a ton of time where I can just go like this. I can go double left click, double left click. And then I can go right here. This says, according to this, and then I just go, boom. Do this right here. BDX is newly below the cloud right there. Right? I can go GRM, newly below the cloud. And all I have to do is just go like this. So click, 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 click. And the cream will rise to the top. Here's new above. So all you Apple fans out there, Apple, once again, is a long signal as of today. So there's a new long right there, a new long. Here's an Amgen. <coughs> Sorry. Amgen, A-M-G-N. That is a new long signal. And here's a couple more. APH, APH, and then B-A-X, B-A-X. All right, so that's where we're at. That's what the market looks like. Uh, I'll give you a quick synopsis if you came in late. Long index futures, Dow, S&P, and NASDAQ. Short, Russell. Short, the 30-year bond, the 10-year note. Short, the twos and the fives. Crude oil looks like a really good long. Does TOS have a cloud scan? <clears throat> yes, it's a little harder to use because it's not the most user-friendly thing in the world, but yes, you can do the same thing. It's, you just have to do it in a slightly different way. On trade station, I just have to throw everything in the kitchen sink in there and then just go, hey, sort for me anything that's new below the cloud, new below the cloud or new above the cloud. And then I just go through those and I want to make sure that, as you can see, this is just a scan from Friday. Uh, I've got a bunch of new above and new below. I've only got two new below and then all the rest of them are new above. It makes my life look really, really, really easy. All right, uh, you guys want to do some quick symbols? What is Chiku direction? I don't know. I don't. I don't never. I never use it. Couldn't tell you, Jimmy. I don't even know what the Chiku is. Uh, and I do, but I don't use it. All right. Does everyone have? Does everyone have a trade off account? Here's where you want to go next, ladies and gentlemen. You want to go right over here to tradethirsty.com forward slash trade off. Everybody, register real quick. What we're going to do is we're going to play a couple of games first to get you warmed up so that you will have the opportunity to win the uh, your portion of the, the trade-off pool. So I'm going to log in here. Once you've got your account set up, just say, well, just type in, I have an account or whatever. Just say account. All right. I'm going to walk you through. Um, and if you don't know how to create an account, here's how you do it. They got me a PowerPoint, so let me do that real quick. All right, so you're going to go to uh, go to tradethirsty.com forward slash trade off, which I've sent it to everybody, okay, in the chat box. Just click that. And we're going to do a practice trading strategy. 
So trade off, you got speed trading events. We're going to do one Saturday at 11. That's the real one. But before we do that, we're going to practice amongst ourselves a couple times, okay? All right. So you're going to tradethirsty.com forward slash trade off, create a user profile. So you'll see a page like this first name, last name, email address, username, and password. Pretty standard stuff, right? All right. Then you're going to go to events page right here. And then we're going to enter the one that says the fifth, the five thousand dollars. All right, and then you're going to go right here, and that's how you enter by hitting that green button. All right, and then you're going to hit play. Indicator setup is super simple. All you're going to do is hit this button down here in the lower left hand corner, and then add your indicator. And I'll walk you through how to do it. It's not hard. Here's your buy and sell buttons. Uh, it's going to do a countdown. You can format your indicator if you want to deselect your indicator. You can click on it and just turn it off. Okay. So you are going to have a trade-off contest during humans precious session. No, we're going to do uh, the trade-off. Uh, we're going to do the trade-off first, and then Hema's going to be speaking. Yeah, yeah. The, the, it's only going to take ten minutes. Yep. So it's just going to push the whole webinar experience back ten whole minutes is all it's going to do. And then as soon as we get done, we all come right back over here and listen to Hema. All right. So that's how you do it. You can format the indicator also. Buy signals on this one. If you set up like this way, that's a buy signal. That's a sell signal. If you're going to do the uh, MA crossovers, uh, that would be a sell signal. And then exit would be here. So go over there and get that done. And let me, I'm going to set up a new, a new event. So this is really important. You guys can practice at any time. This is built for that. It's built to be competition for like uh, FanDuel and uh, stuff like that, but for traders. But we're going to create our own. You guys can play this anytime you want amongst yourselves, with your friends, or anybody. Does it have FIB extensions? Yeah, I think it does. So I'm going to show you how to create these events. So all you have to do is you can come over here and hit, the, does everybody see this big button here that says create event? So I'm going to hit create event. I'm going to have this sucker start at 9.30, okay, 9.30. So I'm going to say 9.30. So I'm going to change the time here to 9.30. And I'm going to say fast speed. It's going to last for five whole minutes, okay? Is everybody following me so far? Competition is going to be all versus all. This one, we're going to have gradual weight. We're just going to have winner takes all. And we're going to say nobody has to enter any money to win, so we're going to leave that at zero. And then we're going to go create event. Once you've got an account set up, you can create these events on the fly, okay? Now, you see this one that says Hubert Center's event? You're just going to hit enter, all right, and then hit okay. So if you can't find that, just go back to this events tab right here, okay? And then what you're going to do is go to member, okay? So you're going to go events up at the top, or you can just scroll down here where it says member events. So what we want to do is we all want to come over here, and you guys need to enter my event that I just created. You don't have to put up any money, and it starts at 932 instead of 930 because I didn't hit okay. So you guys got a few minutes to get there. Da, da, da. There's eight people registered right there. So you can see the entries are going up. So all you got to do is go to member under these tabs right here and find my ugly mug right here. All versus all. Hubert Center's event. No payout. This is for practice. We got 11 people over here. Now we got 12. Let's see if we can get into, let's see if we can get at least 20 people in here to make it uh, entertaining. If you don't have an account, create one real quick. It's not hard. Okay. And this is free anyway. As soon as we get to, uh, well, a little bit closer, at 30, I'm going to go over here and enter the event right now. I'm going to hit play, okay? So you have to hit enter and then hit play. So I'm going to say uh, join will allow 30 minutes before we enter. Uh, uh, there we go. So now I'm going to hit play here. Uh, join will be allowed 30 minutes before the event start. We, we should be good then, right? Why is that not working? Oh, I set it for PM. I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, okay, well, okay. Now, can I edit that thing on the fly, you reckon? I, I don't think I can. So I'm going to create a new one. Anybody that uh, entered that, you did it because I gave you bad advice. So I'm going to go back over here and get, create an event. Let's go, uh, we'll go 9.33. All right, I've got it set for a.m., okay? Fast. All right, that says a.m., all versus all, winner take all. Zero cash, create event. Zero. And then hit event. There we go. All right. Now, let's see here. Make sure that you pay attention to the details, unlike myself, 
and enter the one that starts in the a.m. instead of the p.m. This one starts here in two minutes and 11 seconds. There you go. I'm a moron. So you don't even have to be smart in order to do this. I have a st uh, stock screen showing no events tab. How can I get in the events tab? Well, you can go to events and then right up here where it says all featured speed member, click on member. All right, so we got 21 people. So now I'm going to go in there. We got 17 people in here. I'm going to hit enter and get my charts ready. I'm going to say, yes, I want to play right now. <clears throat> when you go in here, here's what the screen's going to look like. I has I have mine pre-configured, okay? I'm going to show you how I configure this. Do you see this little indicator uh, thing down here in the bottom that looks kind of like a, I guess, a P&L going from the lower left to upper right? Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to left-click that, and then your indicator pane will come up. And then all I did is I just added Ichimoku. I added Bollinger Bands. I added the ADX. So I'm going to go, watch this, I'm going to remove the ADX. Here, I, Here's how you remove the ADX. You highlight it, and you hit the delete button. Okay. So I'm going to add it back. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to hit the indicator. I'm going to go to ADX, and then I'm going to just hit OK. Right, I'm just going to close it right there. And then I can manipulate this, okay? And then I can go, okay, I don't want to, I don't want to trade anything if the ADX is below 20, so I'm going to have me a threshold line there. All right. Now this is going to start in 41 seconds. Here's how this works. We all have, starting out cash, $100,000, okay? Now, when this happens, you don't have stops in this, so you just have to pay attention because heads up, the game's only going to last for so long, right? Um, you could do buy. That's going to buy you 100 shares of whatever this is we are trading. We don't know what it is. We don't know what time. Well, we know it's a 15-minute chart, but we don't know what equity it is. We're starting in 14 seconds here. Buy, sell, and close. So I'll show you how this works. So you can, all right, We're all going to compete right here. This is practice. Ready? Four, three. Two, one. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna buy here. I can get. I can get any indicators. Yeah, you can. Well, whatever ones are stock on there. So I'm buying here. As you can see, these little arrows are signifying my buy. I'm above the cloud. And the ADX is above 20. So I'm gonna play that. If I go below the cloud here, I'm gonna go, okay, close. And I'm gonna go back to the downside. All right. There we go. All right. Oh, look here. I'm getting chopped up. I'm in 22nd place, ladies and gentlemen. I'm doing terrible. Now, you can see up here your competitors right here, first, second, third, fourth. There's a leaderboard right here, and you can see they're jostling for position right here. I'm, I'm the last cat because I'm, I'm showing you guys how to use this. So watch this. So if I want to go long right now, I could close out my position, okay, and then I could build up a long, a long. It's going to buy me 100 shares every time I click the button until I run out of cash. Now you can use the mouse, or you can be you can use the up arrow if you want to increase the speed. Up and down arrows quicker, or if you want to hit close, it's the space bar. Okay, so if I want to buy again here, I'm going to click here. Bought 100 shares. Bought 100 shares. It's going to put an arrow where I bought at, whether it's good or bad. All right, bought 100 shares. Bought 100 shares. Okay, bought 100 shares. All right. Oh, I'm on the other side of the cloud. Oh, let's close that out. Oh, I want to go short again? I'm going to sell. 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 Or I can just hold down the down arrow. Does everybody understand how to play? Now, it says trade rejected. I've exceeded my I've exceeded my P&L. In other words, I only have $100,000, and I don't have any money left, right? And then on the leaderboard, if you want to see the leaderboard, there's a couple ways you can do that. You can come over here and you hit this button right here. This will show you the leaderboard, or you can just look up top, and you can see where you're at, and it looks like there's – I'm last because I'm, I'm not paying attention to the signals. I'm just hitting buttons to show you guys how to work it. Um, I'm 24th, and you got everybody's first. There's 18th there. And then you can also chat over here if you do it, but not a lot of us use the chat because we're usually trading. Heads up. I suck today. All right. Uh, leaderboard, and then there's the orders. And up here's a, an interactive timeline of what's going on. I'm going to close here. Uh, this is how much time we have remaining. And as you can see, we're about halfway through our time. We're halfway through our time. Down here, two minutes and 37 seconds left. 
Where do I enter your event? Well, you, well uh, you'd have to go to events and then Hubert Center's event. I don't know how many. Let's see how many people entered the event here. Looks like probably at least 24 because I'm last. Uh, so you have Bollinger Bands, Ichimoku, and ADX on the chart. Yeah, but this is just what I use when I'm in these competitions. I use Ichi to make sure I'm above or below the cloud. I use Parabolic, or I use uh, Bollinger Bands because sometimes uh, it'll get above or below Ichi and I need an exit point. I use Volume and I use ADX. Yeah, that's what I use. Uh, you don't think you're going just a bit too fast for folks who have never used this before. This is a true think or swim. Well, yeah, I mean, this is why we're doing two practice rounds. Yeah, you, I mean, we've got uh, 20 minutes before the competition gets ready. Um, practice a little. That's why I'm doing this. All right. I'm logged in, but I don't see Hubert's event anywhere on the events page. I think it's because it's already it's already uh, it's already up. So as soon as this one's over here in a minute and eighteen seconds, then what I will do is I'll come back in here and we'll, we'll create another one after it's after the event is started and people are competing. Then I don't think you can join it at that point. I don't have any idea uh, what I'm buying when I hit buy. That's that's correct. You do not because it would be it would be too easy to hack the system if you knew exactly that this was a 15 minute chart of say Google right you could cheat so that's why we hide what the equity is you don't know what date it is or anything and all you know it's a 15 minute chart so it's teaching you how to trade patterns and price action off of indicators is what it's for yep I'm gonna start a new event here in 32 seconds I don't know how to pronounce first names. Uh, Pacwa Dak, I guess. I'm just going to call them Pac. Pac looks like they are first and kicking some ass there. Up $9,518. Uh, no, Robert, I don't, I don't. Sorry. Can you use any time just to practice? Yeah, you can use it any time. Once you guys have an account, you can set up events. And you can set up your own and practice by yourself. Uh, but in order to compete, you got to have one more person. So here's how this would have went. There's first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And the cool thing about it is you can see uh, Pack here broke out from the head from, and just ran off and just smoked everybody, right? So let's do another one. I'll show you how to do it. So I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to go to events. All right. I'm going to go to events. I'm going to go create event. So it's 938. I'm going to say 940. One. So I'm going to say 941 in the AM. All right. And then I'm going to hit fast, uh, five minutes. And then in this one, I'm going to say three minutes, all versus all. I'm going to go zero money to join. And boom, winner takes all. Then you just go back to the events page. And then you should see my event here starts in two minutes, two minutes, one minute and 55 seconds. Okay. So does everybody see it now this time? You guys do because there's more people already joining, right? Now, remember, you want to be registered and have an account so that when 10 o'clock happens, you have your chance to win, you know, a piece of that $5,000. There's 27. All right, we've got about a minute and 35 seconds to go here. Uh, fast, medium. Nope, I, I got on fast. There's fast, there's medium, and then there's slow. All right, so go to the events page right here, and then you'll see all featured speed, and then do member. Click the member the button there. If you see, if you do all, you're not going to see it, but if you do member, you'll be able to see it. I see it. I just did it too. I wonder if all I can. Right. I wonder if I can delete this one that I set up for 9 p.m. like a moron. I don't know how that works. I mean, Focus on the now. You got 58 seconds. I'm a, I see it and I'm entering it. And I have all right, here we go. All right, go so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and enter on this one. Okay, I'm going to play. Here we go. I'm going to be just color commentary, right? What's private? It's probably just a private game that you invite friends to and share that link with. You can also, if you've got buddies, watch. Well, hopefully, you do have buddies. Um, you can create an event. You can send people the link. Go, hey man, let's play this game. And you can just compete, and you can win bragging rights. All right, here we go. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Here we go. Looks like we are going to be uh, on a 15-minute chart again, 
and we are going to be something that's got a price action on it of $137. That means the beta is probably going to be halfway decent, which means it's probably going to have some action. All right, here we go. Countdown. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. I want to do that. There we go. All right. So once again, I'm on, I'm walking you through how to use this. I am below the cloud, therefore, I am selling. I'm hitting the sell button. I am I am short negative seven hundred. Price action starting to drop. Come back up here to the cloud. It's acting like it's going to drop again for me. You can also manipulate the chart just like any other thing. There we go. It's dropping, dropping, dropping. Oh, bounce back up. Dropping, dropping, dropping. I wish I could sell more, but I can't. So now I have decided that I want to get out. I can either hit the close button or I can hit the space bar. Okay. I'm doing a little bit better in this one. I'm only 30th position. Now it looks like we're going to go above the cloud. So I'm going to get ready for that. Boom. There's a buy. I can go 100 units at a time, or I can just hit the up arrow until I run out of cash. It's up to you how you want to play it. Right. There you go. I have decided I want to get out. I'm going to hit the space bar or if I wanted to scale into a position on the long side, I could do this right here. I could go like this right here. I could go buy 100 shares. You see my little arrow? I'm going to buy another 100 shares. Bought another there. I'm going to buy 100 shares here. Or bing. Buy another 100 shares. Boom. Buy another 100 shares. Boom. Buy. Oh, I'm going to close this out. Ding, ding, ding. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I am up to 16th place. All right, so now I need to pull this back. I need to come back to the midline on uh, – Oh, Bollinger Band here, or top of the cloud. I just got to wait patiently. Yeah, probably, I don't know. There are different jurisdictions. Some countries can't play, and some states can't play. But I think it's, I think we can do 95% of the population in the U.S. And there's a lot of internationals that work, too, but not all of them. All right, so I'm gradually coming to the cloud here. Just kind of doing the side. Oh, look here. ADX on me is about to go below 20. So I need to be careful because I don't need to trade when the ADX is below 20. That means a chop fest. And for me, I don't like losing money, even if it's fake. All right. So I'm waiting for the ADX to get back above 20. It's skirting the line. So I'm going to leave that alone. We have got 30 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. You see how the time is about to run out? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. So I'm probably going to stay flat here unless this ADX gets back above this 20. Where are the cloud controls? Well, you, you're talking about how to edit the cloud or format it or how to put it on the chart. If you want to add it, it's in the same place right here, right there. So you go down here and it'll be Ichimoku cloud. It'll start with I, Ichimoku cloud. All right, there we have it. So we got Timber in first, Stockman 99 in second. Uh, in Pinvest, that's third. I ended up 11 on that one. All right, let's go do another one, okay? So once again, events. If you wanted to do an event, and let's say you didn't want to do it with me, all you'd have to do is go over here, and you go look at this right here, and you go create an event. All right, I'm going to do this event. It's 944, so I'm going to say 944, uh, 5, 6, 7, so I'm going to say 947, uh, Okay. I'm going to pick and make sure it's a.m., not p.m. That's the date. Fast duration. I'm only going to make it three minutes, okay? All versus all, or you can do one-on-one -on -one if you only have two people. Winner takes all or graduated, and then $0 to join, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Now go back over. To, uh, you can go events or enter. So this one right here starts in two minutes. Just go to the member page and go two minutes. Now, you can invite friends with this link right here. You can do it by a link or by email and then just, hey, go over and create an account. And it, you, you're going to trade it just like FanDuel. How do you he put an indicator? A, yeah, I was going to say real quick, show the link again. Show the PowerPoint that has the link on it because some people are still saying they can't, they don't know where to start from because they're just showing Okay, them. so that go is, to. Show that PowerPoint up with the link. All right, go to. Uh, okay. TradeThirsty.com forward slash trade off. TradeThirsty.com forward slash trade off. Go over there first, and then all you're going to do is you're going to sign up where it says sign up on the web page. First name, last name, email address, username, password. Then they're going to email your password. 
And then once you go to that, you can go to events, and then you're going to go to member. And then you'll see my event. And then you just hit enter and play. All right. All right, I've got, what, how much? Oh, sorry, it starts in one minute. One minute, okay? I'm going to walk you through how to add. How do you adjust shares? Buy, buy is 100. Sell, sells 100, or you've got to close. So you can buy in increments of 100 units, 100 shares. All right, I'm going to hit play. To add an indicator of any kind, it is super simple. All you have to do is in the lower left-hand corner, you see this thing next to candlesticks, this little graph button? Click that one time. This will bring you up a menu of things that you can choose from. Pick your poison. Add it to the chart. Format it like any other indicator. If I wanted to format Ichimoku, I would just come in here and double left click it, and the format button would pop up, and I could format that bad boy. Change colors the same way. If I want to add or remove an ADX, click on it and format it, okay? We are going to be looking at a 15-minute chart of something that is at the price of $148. Get ready. We're about to go live in 11 seconds. You edit and remove an indicator by double by just left-clicking on it and then hit delete. If you want to edit it, just double left-click it. All right, here we go. We're live. All right. Get, get, get ready. Here we go. So... To add shares, you would do it like this. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy 100 shares when it gets above the cloud. All right? So I can go buy 100. It's not above yet. I'm going to try to see if I can sneak in there on y'all. All right? So I bought 100 shares. I'm going to buy another 100 shares. All right? So I'm up 200 shares on this thing. And let's say, oh, my God, I want to take half my profit. Okay, we'll just sell one time. Oh, no, I'm wrong. I want to get back along again. Okay, buy. Now, now I'm long 200 shares. Buy again. Now I'm long 300. Now I'm long 400. Or I can just hold down the up arrow until I run out of cash. And it'll say trade rejected because I've used all my buying power at this time. Now let's pretend that the market is going and then I'm like, oh my God, I want to get out. I want to take my money. Then I can either hit the close button or I can hit the space bar on my keyboard. It'll do the same thing. How do you increase your shares? Just keep hitting the buy button. Everybody has the same amount of money, though. Y'all start out with $100,000. All right, I'm going to go over here and see how many people are entered in for the $5,000 contest while you guys are playing there. I'm going to get me a little, I'm going to get a little, little buy love going on here. Because in 20, actually in about 12 minutes, we're actually going to do the real thing. I will not compete. I will, I will. Do color commentary. I'll be your MC, but I won't compete against you. Okay. All right. Let me see how many people are registered for the five thousand dollar one. There's ninety people registered so far. So you have basically a one in hundred chance. Can you request an indicator be added if you don't see it? Yeah, you can request it. All right, so on that gap up, I'm going to sell uh, a portion of my profits here. Uh, let me hit sell. Sell, 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 Oh, you don't see ADX? It's right here. Uh, lower left. Ding. It's called uh, Average Directional Index, ADX. Is there a fee for the 5000 or free? Uh, that's a good question, Steve. I don't know. Somebody let me know. If you guys have already entered it, was there a fee? There might be a five or ten dollars. Five dollars. I, I I think it's a five dollar fee, but if you've never played before using our link, that they, uh, they covered it. They covered it, so they called yeah, you. Yeah, if you've played before, then you just need to put five bucks or ten bucks in, in to yeah. be able to play. So what Jeanette said. So if you've never played before, we're going to comp you on your first one. But if you have played before, yeah, you got to pay five dollars. All right, so there's first. NP invest with a hundred and four thousand timber timber and MP both were first and second last time at that be on the lookout for those fellas all right let's go back over here to events we're going to do another one I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create an event create event all right it's 950 so I'm just going to say 953 it shouldn't take you that long to figure this out 
Okay. I think it's important to say here that if you don't enter the event before the bell rings and it starts without you, you can't jump in. So yeah. if you're planning on playing, like I totally forgot, I want to play. And so I went over to the featured event and re and registered for the, the, the 10 o'clock event. It's in nine minutes. So at least I know I'm registered and I can come mess around with you and not accidentally miss it. Gotcha. Uh, I deleted my account. How do I get it back? Mistake. John, I don't have a clue, man. Just create another one. Another All right, one. so here's what we're doing. Another free event. One up top here. 20, man, 22 people. Quick. That's quick. All right, 25. Sure. You got a minute and 45 seconds to join, and it's going to last three minutes, and it's going to be fast. That's, I've got fast speed. I just like the fast speed because it makes you jump on the trade better. You can do slow, medium, or fast, whichever one you want. I don't know how to fix that, John. Sorry. Other than just try to re-sign up with a different email, I guess. I'm going to say Trade Thirsty will pay whoever wins Hubert's free event that's right now, the play for fun one that starts in a minute and 20 seconds. Yeah. Whoever wins that, I'm going to give you 50 bucks. All right. So Trade Thirsty is going to, whoever wins this event, you're going to grab free. a snapshot at the end? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So you got a minute to enter here. Doesn't require any money. If you win, Jeanette's giving you a 50 buck Amazon gift card. Um, and you got 57 seconds. So I'm going to go over here and enter. I, I'm I'm not going to play. You got to play now, Hubert. Oh, I got to play? Okay. I'll play, play against me. Come on right. for fun. Okay. We'll get away right. to right. number two if you beat them. Um, All right, game on. All right, so if I get on. first, you're going to pay out second. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, so game on. Here we go. All right, we're mm -hmm. trading a 15-minute chart. Something's got a beta of not, that has a price of $93. So mm, hold on. I'm going to see what I have in the past. Yeah. Looks like it's in an uptrend to me. I'm in a little bit of disadvantage because everybody can see my damn chart. All right, here we go. Get ready. Ready. Is it a 15-minute chart, you said? Yeah, it's always right here. That's the time frame. Okay. All right, here we go. 13 seconds. $50 here from Trade Thirsty. Buy or sell? Which one are you going? Which way are you going? Ah, it's so scary. <laughs> right, I'm going to try to do it legit like I would normally do it. Okay. 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 Nope. Not yet. Yes. Okay. I'm loaded up to the gills, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just pray for no gap downs. It's like saying, I can't even say okay. it. Okay. 9410, drifting a little, drifting a little. Is it going to get traction? It's getting a little bit of traction. Hey, we can, come on. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. Don't do that. No. I'm in 11th, 10th, 20th. Oh, my God. I wonder if I can scout my way to success here. There's no praying and trading. Trading should be in everyone's <laughs> trading plan. Or I should say praying should be praying a, part, should be a part of everyone's trading plan. Praying, not puking. Yeah. <laughs> I am over trading like a crazy man here. I hear you over there. Closing out your position, closing out your position. Yeah, you it's like a real thing. You can't. They can't because it's just like. You can like, use the keyboard. Up right. arrow will get up arrow, and then just hit the hit the space bar. It'll it'll happen real quick. I've, I've worked myself up to seventh, just by scalping long here. Okay, tenth. It's kind of it's, it's not going anywhere now. It's kind of stuck for us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are half done. We got a minute and thirty six seconds. Looks like J T something. Is first. Oh, look at MP Invest. He was on second place there a minute ago. And Stockman ninety nine and fourth. Look at there. This is this one's kind of bad. It's just choppy and sloppy. I'm just waiting for a break now. See, I'm way in the thirties, so I see first, and then I see thirtieth, thirty second, thirty fourth, thirty fifth. I should make up some time here now if we can just get a sell off. See what happens. Come on, drop you son of a gun, drop. Talk it through it, Hubert. Talk it Am through I the it. only one that cusses charts in the middle of the day going, you son of a... Yeah. Biscuit eater. Yeah. Right. Okay. Do a little bit more selling here. It's not helping any. There we go. Come on. Get out, baby. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gas. Come on. Sell. Sell. Drop. Drop, 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 drop. Yeah. Okay. I'm at fourth. I'm going to see if somebody else can lose. 
third. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. 26 seconds. Everybody lose. Look, y'all need to double up on the long side right now. Double up on the long side. Uh, Fourth place. That's not too bad. Yeah, but if you hold your position right into the closes, it just closes you out. Where you I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. There are so many events. Which one do I click? Uh, we'll create another one here in just a second, Gene. We got we only got four minutes to the main event. Make sure they know. Oh, all right. Well, let's everybody just go into the, the main event then, okay? All right. So who gets the all right? So Eminem, the thirty six fifty two. Yeah, thirty six fifty two. Eminem. Post your email address in the chat box in the questions box. M M. All right. All right. Everybody, go over to the events. All right. Now you want to go to all this time. And you want to enter this five thousand dollar payout that stop starts in three minutes and thirty two seconds. Okay, don't mess around now. This is serious. All right. So here's your deal. You have the ability to win nine nine sixty four four eighty two. How many people have entered? Over a hundred. So minimum you're going to win is twelve dollars and forty eight cents. Okay, unless you're one of the bottom nine. Right. All right. So everybody get over here. Does everybody know what which one you're you're entering? I'm going to be crystal clear. Featured top trader 5K mega challenge, $5,000 payout. Entry fee is $5. If you've never paid, we'll let you enter for free. If you've played before, you have to pay $5. There's 117 people. It starts in three minutes. This is the one you want to enter. This is the one you want to enter. The top one that says $5,000. Good morning. Two minutes and thirty-two seconds. Now I'm not going to play in this one. Well, I don't know. I might. If if I if you win, we'll get the charity. Okay. <laughs> I just gave your money away, and you said okay. I don't care. Oh. It's fine with me. It's fine about me. You were, set right. up your. Go in and act like you're going to play, and then set up your charts. Okay. All right. I'm going to go enter this, and then I'm going to go yes to enter because I have I have played before. Yes. Charge me $5. Then I'm going to hit play. Okay? So here we go. 100000 So if I'm going to set up my charts, i got a couple minutes to do it. I'm going to just do my, my ADX so I don't get off. So I'm, I'm going to click and hit the link. I'm copy you. All right. All right. So uh, first, Bollinger Bands is what I've got on top, and then Ichimoku. Ichimoku... Since it's so, sometimes it's slow and the charts are fast, that's the reason I put Bollinger on top. And then I just go right click, or not right click, sorry, this button down here. And then go ADX, Average Directional Movement Index. And that way, if this thing's above 20, then I'm going to trade it. Now, one that works really good is an MA cross. You see these little plus buttons? And put that one on it. And go right here and go down here. Go to Moving Average Crossover, which will be... Right here. Where the heck's it at? Moving average. How do you average. clear your charts? Huh? How do you clear, clear? them if you, if you accidentally did too much and it's out of control and you don't know how to undo How it? do you clear it? You just delete all of them. Just select your indicator and then just hit delete. How do you change the color? Double left click on whatever you're trying to format. The format window will come up. And under the inputs and style right here, that's how you change the colors. Like right there on that stuff. Is everybody ready to roll? Same pay. We're going to pay five bucks. Yeah, five bucks win. Yeah, it's five bucks, man. Five bucks. All right, you all ready? Here we go. All right, this one's a $123 stock, 15 minute. How, how long is this thing on thing lasting? Is it a 10 minute? Uh, it's game? Eight minutes. Oh my eight God. minutes? That's long. That's long. <laughs> That's a lot of work. <laughs> That's a lot of work. Okay, here we go. We've got 12 seconds. I'm going to play against you. I won't. I won't take the money, though. All right, here we go. And this is for 5G. All right, here we go. Oh, shit, I don't have the ADX on there because I'm <gasps> dicking around with it. You just cursed. Oh, my bad. Uh, I need ADX. There we go. Okay, I got to wait for a bounce now. Do, do, do. Waiting for a bounce. All right, we got... Pack first. Pack was good on a couple of games there earlier. Okay. I'm going to try to build a position here. 
selling, selling, so do not copy me because I'm not in a good position here. I'm about halfway through the, through the uh, field here. All right. ADX reading is above 20, so it's trending. Oh, yeah, this is an eight-minute game. Well, you better play for the long haul here on this one. What is the time frame of those candles? Uh, 15 minutes. One thing that um, that I've been playing all these games, one thing I've learned is that, like, I used to get into a position and just, like, want to hold it and just think I was yeah. right. And yeah, you can't. one thing, yeah, one thing they taught me to do, because it's, it is a canned market and it's moving fast, is to just put on positions and then close them or hold yep. just a piece of it. Specifically, and, if you get if you get a good big big gap up or a big gap down, you got to take it. And then you got to reverse usually. Yeah. yeah. If you've never done any indicators, probably an easy one to follow, which is the one I'm following right now, is just an MA cross. It's simple, guys. It's easy, and you can just say like, okay, well that's pretty easy, and it just crosses when you have a buy signal or a sell signal every time. Okay, I'm selling. I moved up to forty third. We got Iron Man 87 at first. He's only up thirteen hundred dollars, so we can all catch him. That's not that that's not that's not wonderful. Kurt just took him over. Iron Man and Kurt trading positions. One, two, one, two. All right, so we're going a little higher here. That's within the reach. They're only they're only ahead of us like fifteen hundred bucks. That's just one mistake. Or us just getting in a really good position here. That's all that is. We got six minutes. Ooh, I'm going backwards. Okay. Ooh. That's a nasty little sell-off right there now, ladies and gentlemen. Nasty. Oh, looky there. Oh, yeah. Support at like 121 and a half. Come on, break the 121. Break it, break it, break it. Come on, break it. Oh, I'll take that. Thank you. All right, is that going to hold? That doesn't look like it's going to hold, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like it's going to bounce up and then sell off and do a death roll again. All right. I'm going to work myself back into a short, short position. Scaling in. Scaling in. Come on now, don't go above that cloud. I have to cut your throat. <laughs> don't do it. No. There we go. Okay. I hit the wrong button there. A little, little, little jittery there. Trader error. Trader error. Operator error. Operator error. So OE. All right, so we've got four. Well, we have about five minutes left. Five minutes left. All right, my ADX is starting to approach the non-trending area. I'm going to go flat here. Reevaluate what I'm doing. When that right, happens, do you trade the range, Hubert? Like, do you start trading the range when you? I guess you could. You could probably do it like the the one company back in the nineties. Twenty five or something. Yeah, channelingstocks.com, something like that. You could probably do that. All right, so it's trading around one twenty one, one twenty two, getting ready to go back above the cloud. ADX is still a little low, but it's starting to climb, so it's about to break out to the high side. But what the hell do I know? I'm fortieth place. Um. We got Indigo in first. Indigo's up 1958. Kurt 18. Oh, nice. All right. So it's going into a non trending environment for me. Uh, has it been shown that some indicators are better than others to win competitions? Uh, I don't know, David. I'd have to ask the, the, the programmers in the background. They could probably pull those stats. Yeah, they have a um a forum. Like if you start coming and playing, you can yeah. you can see the regular people showing up. And there, I've seen guys come in here that are regular winners share what indicators they're using, and what time frames. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'll tell you. Yeah. Nice. All right, so I'm still flat because my ADX is telling me to be flat, but it's starting to get a little long in the tooth. There we go. All right, so now I can trade again. 
All right, I am long with all you bullish people out there now. Iron Man pulling away with twenty six hundred dollars in his pocket. Twenty five. Some. Uh oh. Uh oh. Twenty four. Coming back a little bit. Uh oh. Uh, so number first place right now is Albert seventy one and Iron Man. They're only up about twenty five hundred dollars. You can still catch them. You have three whole minutes to catch them. So you can do one of two strategies. You can do try to do it clinical and. Or you can just do it the fun and just start hitting the button a hundred times. Do you ever do these trade offs during market hours? Yeah, sometimes we do them on Fridays at like noon for just uh, lunchtime get togethers. We do some of those. Yep. Uh, live? What do you mean with live market? You can't do that because it, uh, it's a canned market. You can't market. do it with live market data because it, it's illegal. Um, you'd have to, we have to do it with canned market data um, because of. Um, regulations with the uh, the data providers and stuff like that but we do them, we do do them during market hours but it's a simulated this is all real market data it's just something that's happened in the past and it's randomly generated you don't know what the stock is or if this was in 1990 or if it was two days ago you just don't know all right i'm getting re long again here busy answering questions and i've moved from 40th place up to 85th your big resistance was 125, Hubert. Annual, Just based on think, what I've watched. I think it's part of Daniel's strategy is to make me answer questions. <laughs> uh, is it uh, is it a is it possible to play uh, yourself against the system? I think you have to have one more person. Iron Man 87, $5,000 plus 5000 Let's just see the leading board here. Let's see here. So if we go to leaderboard, uh, Albert 717, uh, 7117 is only $2,000 behind Iron Man. And then Big Dog is uh, only $2,000 behind. So first, second, and third look like they have smoked us all. All right. They're doing pretty good. Da, da, da. And trade right. rejects after 800 shares. It just means you ran out of money. You had a hundred thousand dollars and you spent it all. That's all it means. Well, that's a good question, David. I don't know. Uh, I've noticed that the stocks used in simulation are greater than $90. It's randomly generated. It just happened to be that most of them were above a hundred dollars today. All right. I got to go flat because my ADX is below. And non-trending, so I need to go sell some stuff. All right, so now you got Knack is rapidly approaching Iron Man. He's only about 1,500 behind. That's not bad. Not bad at all. All right, you've got, there we go. This is it right here. Let's see who won. Looks like Iron Man took it. All right, so let's see the payout here. It's going to do all the cac. It's going to do all the calculations. It might not load. There you go. All right. So Iron Man won. Um, here you go. There's your winners right there. Iron Man, $964. Congratulations. Nat, uh, Nat K720, 482. Uh, Albert, 7117. I think you're getting 322. Uh, J Trucker, 241. Decker, 3088. There you go. There's there's your there's your payout guys and it'll just be credited back to your your account that you can continue to play on. So you guys are good to go. Uh, huge huge congratulations, man. Well done. Eight nine hundred sixty four. There you go. It's a lot of money in nine in nine minutes. Very nice. Congratulations. All right. So once again, you guys can play this as often as you want. It's free to it's free to practice. Uh, you can create your own events that are non. Uh, you can also do it with buddies too. Like if we want to create our own. Say, so, hey, entry fee is a dollar, and we're going to pay out $10. You guys can do that. That's all in this, this tab right here, create event, and you just do create your time, whether it's fast, medium, or slow, the duration of your game, all versus all or one versus all, winner takes all or graduated payout. And if you're doing it with buddies, if you want to do a dollar or $100 and then create event, it'll create that event for you. So a uh, round of applause for uh, Trade Off and Trade Thirsty for putting on the $5,000 giveaway. All right. Now let's go back over here, uh, and your next speaker up today 
is Hema Reddy. I have seen her presentation. It's really good. I love Hema's uh, style of teaching. It's really, really good and really, really effective. So I'm going to hand over the reins.